Hi, my name is Dr. Adams at the TMJ Sleep and Breathe Center in Maryland Dentistry. I'm going to talk about our protocol for kids who have whip and tongue ties, crowded teeth, mouth breathing, possibly pediatric sleep apnea issues. The first thing we'll do is we'll evaluate your kid to see if they have any upper and lower lip ties or a tongue tie. Uh, whip ties and tongue ties are going to be the root cause of why our facial and jaw structure is not growing large enough and it's not growing in a balanced enough way. These are all the reasons why we have these problems. You know, problems such as sleep apnea, problems such as mouth breathing. These are issues related to not having enough room for the teeth to fit, not having enough room for the tongue to stay in the mouth. So typically what we'll do with our kids is note these ties. We will introduce them to one of our qualified myofunctional therapists in the area. Um, we don't do that in our office. Um, we, we work with qualified therapists Second thing we'll do is we'll get the kids fitted for expanders. You know, some expanders are better at growing forward. Some are better at growing wider. Um, our treatments typically take nine to 12 months and uh, the kids will come in about every 10 weeks. And uh, once the expanders have gotten the mouth to be a bit bigger and the therapist has worked on training the tongue posture and they've said that the child is ready for release, um, we'll release the tongue in the office, and at the end of treatment, uh, we should see a lot more room and a lot more balance. Sometimes parents are wondering, well, is my kid also going to need braces? Sometimes if you can get the, get the space at the right time, it'll allow for the teeth to, to have room to come in as they come into the mouth. Sometimes the crowding is, has already started deep down in the jaws, and the teeth will come in and they'll be a little bit rotated and there'll be need for expanders and braces. Well, anyway, there you have it. I just tried to shed a little bit of light, provide a little bit of information about some of our protocols and how we're addressing some of these issues of underdevelopment and tethered oral tissues. Thanks.